Hey guys, welcome back to Card Review. So today we are looking at a pretty interesting field spell, I must say. You know, the card is definitely interesting. I mean, look at Goyo. Poor Goyo. Anyway, this card is called... Well, it, 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 when you look at the Japanese version, it looks like... That was racist, I'm sorry. But in English, it's extra nut. <laughs> I don't get how all of those characteristics in Japanese, it's just extra nut. I, I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, apparently, it's more than just extra net. It's a summoning restriction extra net. So, I'm guessing that, that, that the, after the hyphen, that's extra net. The first part, that's summoning restriction. Uh, tell you the truth, I don't understand how this is a new restriction when I go over this card, but you'll, you'll understand. Anyway, it is a field spell. Yes, it's a field spell. So, its effect is, if a player special summons a monster... Parentheses, monsters from the extra deck activate this effect. That player's opponent can apply this effect. You, the player applying this effect, draw one card. So, I know the wording was confusing, it's really difficult to grasp. So, I'm going to break it down, make it a little bit simpler. All right, this field spells <coughs> on the field, it applies to both players. When your opponent will special summon a monster from the extra deck, you draw a card. Vice versa. You special summon the deck, your opponent draws a card. So that's, I guess, supposed to be the summon restriction where you don't want to go and play from your extra deck because, of course, then your opponent will draw a card. So, you know, how do I feel about this card? <sighs> Why is it a filth spell? You know, why is it for both players? You know, of course, the card that you want to uh, compare this card to is, of course, Max C. Maxi, when your opponent special summon a monster, you draw a card, of course. So, the idea is that it's similar. You know, your opponent special summons the extra deck, you get to draw a card. Maxi, your opponent special summon, you get to draw a card. Now, there's a, a little subtle differences here with extra deck and Maxi, of course. Ah, <coughs> oh, excuse me. One being is, of course, Maxi has the element of surprise, mostly. Depending on how your opponent uses it, you know, there's a couple people you do all that, you know, at the start of your turn, they'll go ahead and just toss the max C at you just to not prevent you from special summoning, but kind of, sort of, you know, it's just like, hey, at, the, at your draw phase, max C, you're going to special summon this turn, you don't want me to draw, right? You don't want me to draw, right? You don't want me to draw, right? All right, then don't special summon. I'll take the neg as long as you don't special summon. So that's kind of one way that people use max C. Another people, way that uh, people use max C is either they, of course chain in response to something or try to predict when their opponent is going to special summon so your opponent you know activates call of the haunted you go max c they special summon you draw a card so at least you're you know even it out now of course there's times where your opponent has two level four monsters on the field so you know they'll go like summon uh 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 shh. trying to think of a good example here oh okay summon pollux you're like that's fine summon cost you're like, on the responsive cost, I'm going to play Max C. You know, because, of course, XC summons, summons from the extra deck are inherent. Therefore, there is no in-between. Can I, let me toss that in there before you do that, you know. You know, you might let people get away with it on DM, but there is no in-between because, of course, you got to ask for responses. But, you know, there it's inherent. There's no space in-between. It's not like... You know, if you're playing on Dev Pro or or Legio Pro, that your opponent has two level fours, the game's not gonna go. Hey, your opponent's gonna XC. Do you want to play Maxi? No, because there is no in between. You got to play on response to your opponent's summon. So when your opponent summons that second level four monster, so you when your opponent summons that cost and they have Pulse on the field, you know, go ahead and just toss the you know the Maxi at them. So when they if if not when if they XC. You can draw a card. So it's not a guarantee, you know? Maybe they just want to go summon Pulk, summon cost. You toss the max C, they're like, okay, tack, tack, end my turn, you know? Maybe they don't have to go into the pleading. But in that which case, then you would take the neck. With extra neck, of course, your draw, it's going to be a given. As long as this field spell is on there, you know, it's a given. It kind of says, hey, you don't want to go into your extra deck because your opponent's going to draw a card, but we're not going to stop you. It's not like uh, Max C where it's the element of surprise. This extra net, you can clearly see that it's on the field. It's a field spell. You can see it. 
So you know the repercussions are, the, are going to occur if you special summon from the after that, you know? There is no, like, summon, summon, oh, a response to summon, max C. Well, damn, I was planning on Xing, but now I don't want you to draw, so no. With extra net, you're going to summon, you're going to summon your two level 4 monsters, you can clearly see the extra net. Is going to the extra deck and special summoning your XC monster or synchro or whatever, is it worth it to allow your opponent to draw with extra net? That is the question here. Now, of course, this card is a freaking field spell, which I do not like. I don't like that it's a field spell because it works for both players. You know, Max C, it's not like when you play Max C and your opponent starts with something, it's not like both of you guys get to draw a card. So why is this card like this, where it punishes you? I mean, I guess they were trying to balance the card, but it's ca this card's not so OP that it needs much balancing. It's kind of okay, in my opinion. You know, you already neg one for playing it, because, of course, playing continuous spell cards, continuous trap cards, or field spells, is a neg one. You have four cards, you start off with four cards in your hand, you're going to take one of those four cards and play it as extra net, you're negging. So, one draw, you even out. So, you at least need your opponent to special summon from the extra net once to allow you to, to even out, you know? So, it's just like, why? Why is it for both players? Why couldn't it just be for you? Why couldn't it just be a continuous spell card? Where you're with your opponent, especially someone from the extra deck, you draw a card, you know? I mean, we already have freaking Supply Squad, which draws you a card when your monster is destroyed. And that, I think that's way dumber than anything that an extra net could do if it was just for you and not your opponent. But, uh, you know, still. So, pretty much, yes, you, A, yes, you hinder your opponent, maybe, especially something from the extra deck. You kind of say, like, hey, are you sure? You kind of ask them. You know, generally, it's just like, oh, you got a attack position, special summon monster, I'm going into 101 right the fuck now, give me that shit, you know? But now it's kind of like, do I want to go into 101? Maybe I want to go into Castell. Castell, do I want you to spin back the monster that's down on the field? Maybe I want to put back extra net, you know? It makes your opponent think. But if you use this card, and you play the extra net, and you go into the extra deck, your opponent pluses. Your opponent didn't neg. All right, think about it, think about it. You play extra net, all right? Your opponent, they have five cards in their hand, this is first turn. You go, all right, well, I'm gonna play extra net because I think my opponent's gonna special summon from the extra deck. Um, I'm gonna go goldfish, summon my gadget, and XC into Gear Giant X. You neg because you played extra net, of course. That's a given because I just stated that when you activate this fill spell, you neg, technically you neg. Unless you, of course, even out with your draw. But your opponent didn't. Your opponent didn't play field spell. You did, but it implies for both players. So as soon as you go into that gear grind X, your opponent has five. You go into that gear grind X, draw for my six. My turn, draw for my seventh. Like, this card, you neg. You neg. You neg, and you need your opponent to special summon the extra deck once to even out. And then after that, you plus. While on the other hand, the flip side, you, as soon as you go into the extra deck, your opponent's plusing. As soon as you do it, your opponent is plusing, and it's just like, why? Why? I, uh, no, no, I, I'm, no, I'm not for this shell spell. You know, I get where they're coming from, but no. You know, if, if it was like, if, if, if it was a continuous spell card that sat on your side of the field and only applied to you, I could maybe see some play with it, you know? Maybe possibly drawing with Dante's or something, maybe, but I, I'd still feel like Maxi would be a better card. You know, but, you know, it's not guaranteed, you know, your opponent goes, summon tour guide effect, you go max C, they special summon, you draw, they can't exceed into Dante, if they do, you draw again, this on the other hand, it's like, hey, extra net, well, okay, well, you know what, I guess I'll go into Dante, you only get one draw with extra net, you get one draw with Dante, with max C, you get possibly two, you know, Possibly more, depending on, you know, what Dante mills with its effect, and, you know, if they want to have special summon two Burning Abyss monsters on the field, if they want to go ahead and get set up with the Fire Lake, hey, maybe those draws with Max C might be enough to uh, get you out of the Fire Lake situation. Maybe you top deck, maybe you, you know, maybe they go, um, you know, they go tour guy, they activate effect, you go Max C, you, you know, they special summon, you draw, you don't draw into anything, they exceed into Dante, you draw, but they, you still don't draw into anything, they use effect, they summon a Burning Abyss monster from their deck. You draw. And then that third draw, that could be the MST. Then they set that Fire Lake. You draw for your turn. That You just drew four cards right there. 
MST half fire like and whoop their ass. So Max C is better. Well, you would have just drew three cards off of that if your opponent's play with Max C. You would have only drew one card off with extra net and you gotta worry about, you know, your play. So you're like, alright, well, I drew my one card with extra net, and I guess I'm gonna go into a castell and spin back his Dante. Oh, my opponent just drew. Well Max C, no, it's not for you. Unless your opponent does a Max C at you, you're cool. So I'm not really a big fan of this Schultz spell. I'm just, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. Alright, so tell me what you guys think about Extranet in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. I will be back next Tuesday, of course, looking at another card. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next time in some more Card Review.